What's funny is I went to the horseshoe probably a week prior to you know popping the question, planned out the exact spot where I wanted to do it. There's this beautiful magnolia tree. So then day of, I get there, Kenzie and I are walking up and they cut down the tree. Brent and I met like three years ago and both of us knew pretty early on that this was gonna be pretty serious. You know, nothing was ever awkward or strange. It, it just, you know, we flowed together, if you will, and it was meant to be, clearly. So we went on five dates in nine days, and I knew by the end of the fifth one that he was going to be my husband. And so here we are three years later, and it's finally time. I think Brent is the first person that I've ever been in a relationship with that made me feel like it was perfectly okay to be exactly who I was. Both have got a very odd sense of humor, which, um, you know, I think we just complement each other with our weirdness, which is kind of strange to say, but um, we just click. I remember the first time that I brought him home to meet my family. And my sister and mom pulled me aside and said, he's awesome and you need to tone it down or you're gonna scare him off. <laughs> and I just laughed and I said, no, the great thing is, is he's just as quirky and silly and weird as me and he's not going anywhere. I feel like that's made us closer and I'm just thrilled to pieces that there's somebody that I can go through life with that is always gonna be able to make me laugh and remind me to not take anything too seriously. Before I met Kenzie, you know, I'd was kind of a loose cannon, um, if you will, but then when I met Kinsey, it made me realize the person that I wanted to be. I had been led to believe that he had not yet asked my dad for permission, and so I was maybe a little annoyed about that, but that's okay. So her dad is, um, you know, he's a, he's a really funny guy, um, but he's also very serious too. We were alone and I had a moment to kind of like tell him that I'm crazy in love with your daughter and um, what she means to me and, and, and then I went into the spiel of asking him and, and before I even could really get halfway to it, he was like, oh, with you, I've got no doubt. We went out on the horseshoe for some work photos. I was really nervous, I, you know, I was not I think she knew something was up when I started talking. I just kind of like, I don't want to say froze up, but I was just like really serious. He grabbed my hand and told me how much he loved me and got down on one knee and insert all of the crying. She continued to cry, which was a little concerning because she just kept crying and crying. He had to remind me to say yes because I was just in hysterics and just so surprised and happy. <laughs> Today is the day. After all the planning and you know all the steps that have gone into planning a wedding, all that is for today, which is super exciting. I can't believe it's actually here. I feel like we've been talking about this for um, quite a while. I thank God that you are in my life. Clearly, He's got a plan. What I'm looking forward to most is just finally being able to call you my wife. Everything that I am is in my mind because of you and everything I strive to be is because of you. I love you with all my heart and everything I have and I can't wait to celebrate. fallen in love with each other to such an extent that you want to spend the rest of your lives together till death has to part. So there's a rule, it's a command, let us love one another.
I love you guys so much, Brent. I adore who you are, and if I have to leave my sister eight hours away from Nashville, I know that she's in the greatest of hands. Your humility and your loyalty to her are unmatched. There is no one more worthy of her heart. Finds a wife, finds a good thing, and um, the Lord knows you found the very best.